It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview a sports podcast, Sports Chat with Vince Capilan. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Can you talk about how you got started in the sports podcast industry? Sure. I, uh, I'm a recent graduate of Brock University Sport Management Program. And when I was coming out of school, I thought I had a good resume and I, I would try to have a career in the sport industry. And then that kind of took a turn because of the pandemic. And I thought, well, I still have to be active. I need, I need to invest in myself to learn new skills. So then I created a sport chat with my friend, Hugh, who does the visual and graphics and he's incredible. And I host the show and do the content and run the social media channels. And so far it's been a great experience. Can you talk about what segments you have on the sports chat? Yeah, that's a good question. It, it depends on the guests that we have. So uh, we, I set it up as, you know, broadcasters, coaches, um, sport industry professionals. And depending on the guest, it really determines what dialogue we're going to have during the interview. So we've, it, this kind of leads to the next question. But uh, we've had Jack Armstrong on the show. He's the or Toronto Raptors broadcaster. So we've got, I got to talk to him about his day to day and um, how he got into being a broadcaster. And then, uh, similar with Mike Ross, who's the public address announcer with the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he was talking about how he got into the industry. So that, that's kind of the talent side. And then we go to more of the business uh, operation side within, within the sport industry. And I've had uh, individuals from the NHL on and MLSC and really big companies and they give insight about certain trends such as marketing or sales or events and um, it's been it's been great dialogue and I'm very proud of the professional dialogue that we've been having on the show so far. Can you talk about how you go about getting people like that? That's a great question and I've, I've had a lot of people uh, asked me this question lately and I, I think it, it's about relationships hiring relationships within the sport industry so some of the guests that I've had, had on so far are from other uh, from not other but from university where I started to network and then others are just you know finding their contact information online and hopefully that it's the right one emailing them and telling people what the show is about and what you know my my vision and mission is for for the podcast and I think it's been uh insightful for a lot of future sport industry professionals who are trying to break in the business such as myself and um so it's a lot of emailing I can tell you that for sure and it's a lot of relationships and a lot of networking I think networking is key and they used to tell me all the time university that networking is so important and uh, I totally believe it then. And now I think it's even more significant because of the times that we're in and um, how it, uh, the future is kind of uncertain. Can you talk about going as being a sports broadcast and how has that helped you in your podcast? Ooh, well, I, I will admit, like when I first started this, I didn't have any broadcasting experience, no journalism experience. So I, I'm officially self-taught. And at the beginning, it was very, it was very hard, you know, it was hard, it was very hard and uncomfortable to kind of have, to be that host, to be, you know, confident in yourself. And uh, at the beginning, it was a little uncomfortable, but now I think we've done so many um, that it's, it's a little bit more comfortable. And I know how to transition into different segments, such as you, what you're doing right now. And um, so being that host and being confident in yourself and asking you know, questions that are interesting, and um, that, that's kind of my, my main goal as a host, you know, be curious. I'm very curious about a lot of different areas within the sport industry, so when someone mentions someone, you know, such as a, a guest, 
um, and they say, you know, this is a, a word of mouth is a marketing trend. For example, I, I, I follow up with it and we have that dialogue. And um, so I do have, you know, scripted questions that I write in the interview and I, and I send them to the guests such as you did with me. And, but sometimes, you know, you never know where a conversation is going to go and you have to make adjustments. So that's been really interesting and fun so far. Can you talk about how it's like interviewing college coaches? Um, I haven't done any college coaches so far, but I've, I've done a few, uh, like a, a Tim Turk, who is a, is a good mentor and friend of mine. He's NHL professional uh, skills coach. And so he was talking about during the interview, working with players such as Brendan Gallagher from the Montreal Canadiens and uh, Victor Mete from the Montreal Canadiens. And he was you know, describing to me during the interview, you know, what's a great shot, uh, what's a great hockey shot and, and stuff like that. That was really, really engaging and, and just fun to listen to because I'm a massive hockey fan. But I guess it depends on who the guest is and what kind of direction we go in. And it's a lot of research involved, that's for sure. Um, I do a ton of research before and, and even after I do research to make sure in the descriptions when I'm writing them out to make sure they're accurate and make sure they're, they're factual and all those details are really, really important. Can you talk about the um, interview with the Toronto Maple Leaf um, broadcaster and how that was like? Yeah, Mike Ross is an incredible person, uh, an amazing guy. He's the public address announcer for the Leafs, and uh, he was my first interview. And and I was so fortunate to have someone like that come on as the first one because of his experience in broadcasting and and what uh, his values and beliefs are with broadcasting and all the insight that he gave me. Because you know I was I'm not even a broadcaster, so I'm still still learning on the fly. It was my first interview. So he taught me a lot about um, broadcasting and, and uh, he shared some great stories and, uh, you know, there was, he was talking about his most memorable uh, moment and his first game was, if I, I think this is right, but his first game was uh, the Jersey ceremony for a lot of the Tron Maple Leaf legends. And that was really, really exciting to hear about and just to, you know, here is insight about, you know, calling Matt Sundin's number when uh, he was retiring. Like that, that, those are really, really cool stories and um, things that I wouldn't know without this this platform. What are some of your future plans for the sports chat? That's another great question. I've been trying to figure out the last two weeks what direction we're going to go in, and um, I I. I think the future I would like to branch off more into the American sport teams to talk with sport injury professionals from the States, because so far it's just been from Canada, um, which I'm honored and grateful for, but hopefully we can branch out to build a different audience within the podcast and see how that goes. Um, but, th but we're just going to continue until it's not fun anymore. I think that's kind of the main goal. What advice would you give upcoming sports future podcasts? It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, I think it's what you make is what you make of it. It, it. You know, my goals to starting this was to, you know, help other people. You know, have build that insight within the the sport industry. Get get industry professionals knowledge. That was my goal you know, for fell peers that uh, I have looking to get in the same industry as I, I am. And, and so that's, it's a really great question about the future because it, it's hard. I think, I think the process changes every day, but the plan and the mission is still the same. And that's, that's what I would say. What did you not know beforehand that you know now about sports podcasts? Ooh, it's a very competitive space. Um, you know, I think I was in a group chat uh, a few months ago of all these different podcasts that are, are you know, talking about stats and uh, that's more of the talent side of sport, and and which I, I I've listened to a couple and they're all really really good and it's really competitive. 
I, I was told by somebody who I admire and respect that if you're starting out a podcast and you, you want to make this a career, you probably have a less than 0.01% of making money. And that, that was an interesting stat to me. And it showed how competitive the podcast space is. And there's so many podcasts. Like if you go on Spotify or Apple or even YouTube, there's so many podcasts. Um, so it's just, it was, it was very competitive. And, um, but I think they're all great. I, I love listening to, to all, like I listen to four or five or six <laughs> podcasts, different podcasts a week. Uh, I'm a huge fan of podcasts because I think it's just such a great platform to have conversations and to learn, um, just to learn from them. Where can my listeners find your podcast at on social media? So we're at, um, it's at Sport Chat 2020. And we're on Instagram, and LinkedIn and, and Twitter. And uh, I, at the start of it, we're just at, on Instagram. And then I, I made the decision, I think, we should branch out more so I create more social media platforms to see if we can grow the podcast and um, we're also on YouTube so how our podcast kind of works is we have the you know the visual podcast that people can watch or listen to such as yours and then um, we have the audio on Spotify and Apple and um, I want to I want people people to have both options because you know people are very busy and they they get to pick what they uh want to watch on our platform and uh, i'm really i'm really happy of how it's going and we'll see kind of what the future holds and obviously it's 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 a lot of work but um it it it's fun you know it's it's fun to do this to have conversations with people and um during a pandemic uh, we're making the most out of it Thank you again, Vince, for your interview, and best of luck in the Sports Chats podcast in the future. Thank you, and thank you. Thanks for having me. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Vince, for your interview, and best of luck. Thank you. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.